guys. I'm in the mood to make something, so I'm going to make the headlamps up for my stingray. So I thought I'd stick the camera on. I've been, do been experimenting a little bit, which is why I've already got a nut and bolt stuck in this. So I'm going to remove those. And I'm going to do the same on the other one. The only reason for that is the bolts I used are too short for what I need. Stop spinning the bolt, you son of a bitch. Quick and easy way. Look a bit like a jigsaw puzzle. What I'm going to be using as the bracket is actually a bracket from one of those 12 volt floodlights I've got. I've got several spare and when my stepdad was cleaning out the workshop he had some of these laying around as well so I picked these up as spare brackets so I'm going to put one of those to good use. And I've just noticed this lamp has got a screw missing. Doesn't matter because I need to get into here anyway. I've got some wire available quite a bit of wire actually because I don't know how long it's going to have to be I want that plug for other things so I'll snip that off Good. Oof. more than enough here right so what I need to do is attach well I need to separate the wire and I want to attach it's all right I'm a vacuum layer just want to attach it this and what you do with these brackets you just slide the wire over like that get this wire in can be a little fiddly I've got a new bulb here to put in and just screw the bulb in and it's as simple as that the wires attached and there should be a locking screw in here I'll find a little self tapper to put in there that just goes in twist it to lock in place Till that screw hole meets up with the one in the lamp and you're done. That's the wire attached to the lamp. Now. No. No. Well, it's not going to scratch very easily. So I'm going to need a separate earth for each of these. That's not a problem. In fact, I've just realised... I don't need all this wire for this lamp either. I'm going to need that for the next lamp. Take that off. Uh, will the smaller one fit over? It will, good. Right, so I've got a washer just to... I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. I just want to make sure nothing was going to kick off outside. Alright, so I'll put my bolt through my bracket like that. I want to put another... No, I don't. What I need to do is get this attached to the wire first. That would help. So... I 
I don't actually recommend using your teeth to do this. I do. But it's something I've done for absolutely years. Right. So, I'm going to crimp this end on. With my proper crimp tool. And they're like that. Crimp that on like that. Now, that goes in. I'm going to put the washer on. And I'm then going to put my connection on. And then hopefully, the nut. And then completely realise I've put the short bolt on, not the long one. <laughs> oh, and the crimp has just fell off. Oh, isn't this going well? It's going swimmingly already, isn't it? It's good about spares of those um, crimps, isn't it? Right. I'll just strip a bit more back. So I can fold this over. And then fold it again so I've got a bit more wire for that to grip onto. So I'm just going to do that again. I've got another one here. This is why it actually sort of pays to, uh, you know, have more than one. So we get that up there like that. We get our crimp tool again. Crimp that down. And in fact, I'm going to go down one more size as well and squeeze it a bit more. Make sure the damn thing doesn't come off this time. Grab the long bolt. Sure, I'm going to get this. I want these wires hanging down so no water runs in. So I need to go through from that side because I'm doing. No, I'll do the left side first. Stick that on, stick the washer on, stick our connector on. I'm actually wondering if a spade style crimp would have been a bit better. But we'll see. There's a reason I'm putting the nut on first, because I need it spaced. So this nut, along with another nut, are actually going to be doing two jobs. Holding everything together. And acting as a spacer. So we do this like that, nice and tight. Nice tight connection. I'm put a second nut on. Doesn't actually have to be tight tight because like I said it's only acting as a spacer. Thread it onto our bracket, put the last nut on. Three nut yeah, three nuts in total. Like so. That bit of tighten and that is exactly it. Now I've just got to do that on the other side. Uh, yeah. Um so I've got this light, haven't I? I'll take that old bit of wire off. A little bit of wire dangling there. I don't know what that guy was doing out, so I think he got locked out or something. Or he'd fallen out with the missus, I don't know. Not my business. I just heard some loud shouting and was like, what the hell? Because ever since I've closed that off out front, we don't get many people come past. I think, from where my battery's going to be positioned, that's going to be long enough. Right. So I've got to join an earth, haven't I? Let's see if I can find another... Crimp because the two I've got down there are a little on the large side. There we go. I've got straight through connector as well for the live. Hmm. Yeah, I will do 
it that way. I don't think I'm going to need a lot of this, so I'm going to snip it somewhere there. Hmm. How far is that? Got no idea with the red wire as well. I was just uh, trying to do this um, and keep it as tidy as possible. That's what I was wanting to do. And try and get these wires separated. Right. I don't want to be twisting two lots of wires together. Actually, I've just realised, no, I'm not. I was going to try and put two of these in the back of one of these lamps. And it ain't going to work. So, what I need, I'm not going to take it from that. I need... Like so, twist these together and get that cr uh, crimpy bit on there. so much wire on here I'm now getting tangled up in it. There we go. I want just a short length of red. Let me just pull off one of these. There. Same as I did on the previous lamp holder. Okay, stuck in there. Put my blub. Put my blub in. Is that job done? Slot this in the back. Like so. I'll find the screw. Yep, stick the screw in. All it is is just a little self tapper. I've got oodles of those, so I'm sure I can find one for the other lamp. It's just to stop the um, lens from rattling off, that's all it's for. The last thing you want to do is go down the road and have your, <laughs> your lens drop off. Right, Ooh, I'm sweating just from doing this. Okay, so, long bolt and a washer. Another washer, which I thought was missing, but it's still on the short bolt. Stick that on. Get the end of our earth connections here. Stick that on. And a nut, and stick that on. Same order as last time, basically. I wasn't going to do this originally. I was just going to bolt the two lights on the bracket, but I thought, eh, why not? Got some charge still left in the camera. Mm. 
9 mil and my screwdriver. Good job I'm a, a little bit ambidextrous really, isn't it? Get that on there nice and tight. So do, watch what nice and tight because it's got the ground connection on. Uh, one more nut. As before, it's just got to be on there finger tight because it's just acting as a spacer. That one doesn't want to screw on. A couple of these nuts, like they're all the same nuts. Some of them just don't want to screw on, right? Some nut on there. Get a nut. Is that the same one that would screw on? Did I just pick it up twice? Or have I got two nuts here that not want to? No, nope, I picked the same nut up twice. Right. Yeah. I don't want it super tight because I'll have to. Uh, make adjustments when it's fitted to the bike so I'm just going to do it up tight enough. But you see without the breath spacing there they would be too close. So what I have to do now is connect three lathe wires together. Right. Uh, I want that somewhere there, don't I? So if I snip this one there, strip the cable back, and twist these two together, and that will be one end done. Like so. Straight through connector. Hopefully that's going to go on there. It is. We need the smallest setting on this, which is there. And whoop, there's one. All I've got to do is one more connection. And trim it about there. We're nearly done, which is just as well because I think I'm nearly out of battery. Just uh, stuff that wire in there, we'll get our crimp tool, and we just go eh. Like that. So, that should be the headlights made up, and I can. Uh, I could easily get some of this wiring, you know, strapped up out of the way with a zip tie when the time comes. Uh, but for now, I just want to make sure they actually work. I really don't recommend using your teeth because that hurts at times. Despite that, I've still done it after all these years. Right. Moment of truth. Do we work? Yay, look at that. Funny feeling that I want bending in a little bit. It's been brought in. Perhaps so they touch like that, but. I'm sure I can put a zip tie around there or something just to bring them in. Again, I'll get them on the bike first. But there we go, I've got the headlights made up. Brilliant. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Oh, I am literally... The water is literally running off me and I'm just sitting here, look. Ooh. Anyway, thanks for watching. I will talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.